I'm here at Boxable, ready for my casita tour. I'm gonna go check in now, and I brought my tape measure. I'm so excited. We're gonna see what this is all about. Yeah. While I sign in for my tour and swear not to sell any trade secrets, I might see, I'm gonna catch everybody up. Boxables are factory built modular buildings that have use cases for disaster relief and military applications as well as homes. Boxable is a new startup and they're currently only offering the Casita model, which is a 20 by 20 foot tiny home with all appliances included for $50,000. The folding design of Boxables allow them to be folded to a width of eight and a half feet for shipping, which allows them to avoid the oversized shipping costs. I reserved a casita in November 2020 and plan to buy multiple units for an outdoor recreation retreat, which is the reason for the land search on my vlog channel. We'll now head into the factory with Alexis to learn about the building process and materials. This is the staging area for all of the layers of the panel, which has four. This is the first and third layer. It's galvanized steel. The second layer is EPS foam and it has channels that are pre-cut into the foam for the electrical wiring, which you can access through the lights in the ceiling. And we'll take a look at that coming up. This is the fourth layer, which is MGO board, magnesium oxide board. It's a non-insulating sheathing board, which is resistant to fire, water, and mold. This is the framing for the perimeter of the panels. The wood isn't exposed and it's the only place wood is used. We'll take a look at what the framing looks like coming up. Here are the robotic arms with a suction that are not fully automated yet. Currently they use them to place all the panels together with the suction and this is a look at what the automated system will look like. After the robotic arms they are sent to this vacuum lamination system similar to a vacuum sealed bag idea but it creates 72 tons of pressure. The panels are connected using a hinged steel beam and to either side of the hinge you can see some black strips. These are the gussets that create an airtight seal when panels are connected together. This is the gussets and what it looks like when they're connected together creating that airtight seal. The ceiling and floor panels are eight inches thick and the wall panels are six inches thick. After all the layers are laminated together, they are placed on these wheeled easels to be sanded in this white booth. After they are sanded, they are then painted in this paint booth. The next stage is assembly for all the cabinets, doors, flooring, and windows. In the back there, you can see a casita with some of the kitchen assembled. As of this tour on January 5th, 2022, Boxable is able to produce six to eight casitas per week with a goal of 10 per day. Once the systems are fully automated, they'll be able to produce one Boxable every 90 minutes. Coming up, you can read through Boxable's frequently asked questions found on their site. For more information or to get $100 off your own Boxable, you can use the link in the description or the pinned comment. And if you do decide to use it, any commissions received does go to the growth of this channel and it is greatly appreciated appreciated. different being in here versus on videos, you know? Mm -hmm. It feels, it feels sturdy. Like, yeah. So nice. Really bright lights. That's cool. 
You can see here, these are the lights that have an additional cover you would pop off to access the channels within the foam to add any of your own wiring for any electronics. Basically, we give you everything that will fit into the eight and a half foot box that it has to fold up to. So what that means is everything over here, besides the decor and the chairs, is included. Everything over here, including this divider piece, is not included. Right. This it's all extra, has right? to be empty, yeah, um, so that it can fold down right there. Okay. And so if you wanted to purchase these separately, it would be an additional charge and it would ship separately as well because mm. it doesn't fit in mm -hmm. when you fold it. Right. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I wondered why that was extra, so that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And then, so that wall won't be there. Mm -hmm. That'll be, that'll look more like the picture right behind us. Mm -hmm. It has the wall with the two windows. Okay. And then where the sticker is, you cut that out and that's basically your, that's where your front door will be. Oh. And then that's your back door that we walked in. So, oh, you walk so there in, will be two doors. Mm -hmm. You'll walk into your living space, not your sleeping space. Yeah. I love this. I'm so excited. Yeah, feel free to take a look around, open things up. And yeah, I mean, I brought my measuring tape. Too. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a Home Depot dad. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love my husband. This is so, wow. These appliances, yeah, the tiny homes that I've been in, like that I was at. Look at how big this appliance is. Whirlpool is. Are these the fridges that are gonna? So we're not something brand similar? loyal yet. Okay. So depending, yeah. especially with the supply chain being how it is, um, right. We'll see what we end up using. But they will be they full will size. Be full right? size and high quality. And the eight foot mark is. So oh, the fridge probably has to come in here. You are smart. Yep. So okay. basically, the fridge will come in here. This uh, will fold down, and then your washer dryer gets placed in the bathroom because this is where your floor folds. That big panel we saw, this is it right there. Oh, okay. So that folds up. So basically, yeah. your walls fold in, this folds down, this floor folds up, and your ceiling folds in thirds. It feels so, I love the tall ceilings, nine feet, right? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Makes a huge difference. Oh it so does yeah you can absolutely live here like look at all of this cabinet space you gotta check out the size of the shower too oh man i will wow i, I there's just so much this is a weird microwave it's a little bit smaller it, it yeah it's just it looks so weird with that <laughs> big thing up there and then these that's cool so a decent size little stove. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all of this space. I wonder, are these, do, do you guys get your kitchens from Ikea? I mean, it, I like Ikea. I'm not, it is not. It is, oh, okay. we sourced it from somewhere else. And a full size dishwasher. Dude. No one wants to do dishes every other day. I mean, this <laughs> counter space. Just tons of counter space. And then I thought this opened for some mm -hmm. like brooms or something. I, so yeah. this is your designer closet. It would be available for purchase separately. With designer clothes. Yeah, I wondered about that. This the closet space. I would almost think to get one of those tall IKEA ones, you know? Yeah, yeah. Love with full extension drawers and these are really good sizes. Does this that maybe opens up on the other side? I don't think that opens up. Oh, at all. I'm sure they're working on a better use of space on this. So a washer dryer combo. I have some rental properties and I have one one with a washer dryer combo. This one is a lot bigger than what I have from when I used to live in it. Like, I was like, well, they're a step up from a laundry mat. But this looks nice, this is big. It takes so long to dry. So really tall doors. Are these doors like eight feet probably? Mm -hmm. The one thing, I, that's what I thought. That's what I wondered, is if my, my head, my head is not cut off totally. So that's good. I was really worried about that. Okay. Because my mom redesigned her downstairs bathroom and it's like right here. I can oh, see my so mouth. Funny. That's it. 
thanks, Mom. Yeah, it's funny. I don't. I mean, she's five, six, or, but so she can see. So these are going to be shower inserts. So that's one of the things with the Generation 1 versus Generation 2. It's not a finalized plan yet of whether it will just be the shower or the shower tub combo. Okay. So we'll have to wait to see. Really yeah. Happens. Yeah, this bathroom is giant. It's huge. It's huge. I guess we could probably redo the sink if we don't like the sink. Not a fan of the, the bowl on top. No, I, I can't believe that's still a thing. <laughs> Maybe it is. Tons of, and then, oh, and then you can put a little garbage can or laundry bin right there. Well, your, your washer dryer, this would just be your laundry folder. So what are we looking like? Are you, you're not gonna know that information like tw at the end of 2022? 2023 so, maybe yeah it just it just depends so we're hoping to start production for the public middle to end of this year but okay. we do have a fairly large wait list and so that's where we'll I know. Work, start working are through. am i able to see where i am on the wait list yeah. no mm -hmm. i wondered that like when did the wait list start I believe it was in 2019. Oh man, I thought I was kind of early with being November-ish 2020. Not I have so to much. verify that. I don't know that for certain, but that's when we went to our first show. I think that's when we started doing those. So it gives me time to find land, mm -hmm. to wait for some to come up and yeah. figure out the we'll utilities and, and utilities, yep, all yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Who's this guy? I don't know. He's talking to me. He was asking if Oh, does he have an appointment next, maybe? Uh, no, you're good. Okay. I love it. This is so cool. Let me just see what he wants. Okay. I'm going to take some measurements. Okay. Look at how big this is. I mean, this fridge is tall. This fridge is big. Look at this. Let me measure. 115 inches. Yeah. Yeah, that was right. 115 inches. I'm just going to call out all the measurements and I'll get them. Sort of write them down. Nine feet wide here. Dude, look at this cabinet space. One. We'll count these double ones as double. One, two, three, four. But that goes back there. Five, six. We'll just count that as one, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 with a lazy Susan. Something I didn't notice until my edit is that there are no drawers in the kitchen. So this counter top right here is 80, just under 88 inches. Look at that cute light. Yeah, I mean, this is what that tiny home didn't have. 48 inches long here. It's 23 and a half inches. Here I am. I mean, the couch could be 80 inches. I mean, 80 inches, that's pushing it. Oh, I'm so glad I got the opportunity to see this and uh, take measurements. Look at the hookups outside as well. Oh, perfect, okay. Let's do that. You have your electrical box, it's a 200 amp box, your water heater, and your AC unit. Okay, yeah, on demand, huh? Mm -hmm. These gutters, oh no, this is for electrical. Oh, so yeah, gutters, I mean, people would have to put gutters in. Mm -hmm. okay. And then your water hookups, this unit doesn't have it on them, but basically you'll have a pipe for your sewage, and then a pipe for your clean water, and a pipe for your gray water as well. And it will be, it will be some here, somewhere here. It won't go underneath, just so that you don't ever have to get underneath the house. Okay. So gotcha. they run all the plumbing behind the cabinets. Yep. So they're stackable up to three high. Yeah. We don't necessarily recommend stacking the casita just because there's no spot on the inside to put stairs. Yeah. But you totally could do exterior stairs if you wanted to. Right. Okay. Very cool. Is that, I guess that's probably everything. I've seen everything, huh? Okay. I just want to thank Alexis for letting me tour this and film and being a good sport and letting me film her so my channel is Rachel in real life if you want to see 
it'll be a minute before I get this posted, but yeah, thank you so much, Alexis. I can't wait until I can buy one and we'll see you later. <laughs> I do have a little souvenir to <gasps> for you. Oh, cause we're in Las Vegas. <laughs> I will keep this forever. Please do. <laughs> That's I just finished my tour at Boxable looking at the Gen 1, Generation 1 Casita. They're going to be coming out with a Generation 2 because this was hand built and now that they have a factory they're going to be adjusting some things but I am utterly impressed. It is, it feels so spacious even though it's 375 square feet. It, the ceilings are so tall. There's really, aside from countertops, there's not much I would change about it. I'm so glad that I was able to film and get some measurements and I feel so excited, but it's going to be a while before I get my own casita. If you're interested in buying one, they're only 50 grand and they're shipping, they're going to ship free in the surrounding states, Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. And they will be able to have a conventional mortgage. So you're looking at like $250 a month and you have to come up with your own plot to put the casita on and electrical on the outside and sewer as well as if you want to put a roof and what your requirements are in your areas but i'm utterly impressed the quality in there feels amazing and i so far i mean i may be a little biased but i give it a five stars so I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let me know what you thought of the factory and the casita, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.